Another year, another Call of Duty. Does this one suck just as much as Call of Duty Ghost did, or is it actually an improvement? Well, I guess I'm gonna have to find that out. In order to do that, first, I'm gonna have to unbox it. Let's do this. What's up everybody and welcome to my unboxing of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. This is the Atlas Limited Edition and it is for the PlayStation 4. So let's just get right down to it. Last year, Call of Duty Ghost, I think it absolutely sucked. <laughs> I think the multiplayer was horrible. Hopefully this year it looks so far from what we've seen so far, it looks like an improvement to me. But I guess we'll have to find that out later on. So like I said, this is the Atlas Limited Edition. This is the one, one collector's edition. There's another one called the Atlas Pro Edition. And the only difference between that one and this one, I believe, is that that one, not only does it cost more money, but it also comes with the season pass. And the reason why I didn't get that one is because two reasons. One, I didn't want to spend the extra money. And two, I didn't want the season pass just yet because, like I said last year, Call of Duty Ghost completely sucked, in my opinion. And I didn't want to waste $50 on a season pass. I would like to try the game out, see if I like the multiplayer first before I buy the season pass. So, with that being said, let's just take a look. Here's the cover, what it looks like. Nice artwork there. This is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, Atlas Limited Edition. Obviously rated M for Mature. This year's Call of Duty is made by Sledgehammer Games, and of course, Activision. Take a look at the side over there. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Just about the same on the other side. And here's the back. Tells you what it comes with. It comes with... The camera can focus. There we go. Welcome to Atlas Advanced Soldier Manual. Advanced Arsenal. Advanced Atlas Calling Card. Steelbook Case. A couple guns for the game. The soundtrack. A multiplayer map, a bonus, and the uh, Atlas Exoskeleton helmet. Alright, so let's just open this thing up. First things first, you get the manual. That's what's first. Welcome to Atlas Advanced Soldier Manual. That's what it looks like on the back. Well, it technically really is almost like an art book, so pictures and R and what not. That's the first things first. Next, what thing you get next is you get a little flyer for the season pass. So, of course, I gotta advertise it to you, so. Spend 50 more dollars and you get four DLC packs at one great price. And um, this is what's on the back. Play Clan Wars, an inclusive gear, if you want to download the app. Sure. And then, obviously, last but not least, you get the game. That's it. So here's the nice steel bookcase. I really like the steel bookcase. Nice cover. That's what it looks like on the front. Here's it on the side. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Here is it on the back. Alright, when you crack this thing open. Ah, it has that new game smell to it. And this is what it looks like on the inside. There's the game disc right there, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, PS4. First things first is you get the DLC, digital content. There's everything that we mentioned before in the back of the box. The codes are on the back for the soundtrack, the extra guns, the multiplayer map, the um, helmets and weapons, etc. If you take that out, you actually get a nice letter from Sledgehammer Games, letting you know that they're thrilled this year to be the developers of Call of Duty. If you want to pause it and read it, you can right now. And then last but not least, you just get health warnings, which nobody really cares about. Take a look on the inside. And you get more artwork.
And so, that pretty much does it for this quick little unboxing of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, the Atlas Limited Edition. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. And last but not least, at GameStop last night at midnight, during the midnight launch, you were also able to buy for five bucks a Call of Duty limited edition dog tag, and all proceeds went to place veterans and jobs, so that's pretty good. You get to donate for help veterans and jobs. It's only five bucks. I ended up buying it. This is what it looks like, the dog tag. It's actually pretty heavy. It has a little bit of weight to it, so it's not too bad. Call of Duty Endowment over there. Got AW over there on the back, so absolutely nothing on the back. So it's a nice real dog tag. And you donate to uh, Veterans and Jobs, so not too bad. I gave five bucks to them, got to pick up the game, so it was overall a pretty good night. So once again, that does it for this unboxing of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Public PlayStation 4. And for the dog tags, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you guys later. But until then... This is L. Tillman, signing out.